Hi, my name's Carol. Welcome to Hummingbird Spot. This is the third episode of my first trip to Peru to try to find hummingbirds to photograph, and I found a dozen of them. If you haven't seen my previous episodes, you can click there. Our next destination was the Abra Patricia Cloud Forest, where we were going to stay at the Owlet Lodge for a few nights. Now, the Owlet Lodge is maintained by ECOWAN. That's the Asociación Ecosistemos Andinos, which is a private conservation group. This land that the Owlet Lodge is on uh, is 25,000 acres, and it was initially purchased by private funds from ECOWAN and a large chunk from the American Bird Conservancy. There's lots of hummingbirds here, and this is the first place I was so excited to ever see the sword-billed hummingbird. The sword-billed hummingbird is an impossible-looking bird. It's the only bird in the world that has a beak longer than the rest of its body. When you watch it just sitting on a branch, it holds its head up because the bill is so heavy that it can't have its head down and be comfortable like other hummingbirds. This bird evolved along with some very, very long corolla-like plants. So often when you see it feeding, you'll see it at these very, very deep tubular plants. Its beak is so long that it can't reach any of its feathers, so it has to preen and scratch using its feet. That's the only way it can arrange its feathers. The colored Inca is a pretty little bird. It's, it's actually so elegant. It looks like it has on a little tuxedo with its white bib. The females and the males are similar, but the females, the coloring is a lot duller. This bird has a brilliant crest of iridescent purplish blue feathers that you don't always catch when you're trying to photograph it, but what a gorgeous little bird. The emerald bellied puff leg is another one that comes to the feeders here. These birds are gorgeous with the brilliant green and aqua feathers. It's got a little irregular white patch on its belly, but the feet, look at those little puffs on the feet of little white feathers. They're so cute. The bronzy Inca is the dog guy on the block. <laughs> He's uh, found from Venezuela all the way down through Bolivia. If the light hits it just right, you can sort of see a little bit of purplish tinge, maybe a little bit of reddish, but they're mostly just brownish. Two other birds that you can see at the feeders here are the lesser violet ear and the sparkling violet ear. These two birds look very, very similar. The lesser violet ear was split off as a species from the Mexican violet ear. Both together used to be called the green violet ear. You've seen the Mexican violet ear if you've watched my Honduras videos, but the lesser violet ear is a little bit smaller than the sparkling violet ear, and the sparkling violet ear has a large purplish blue patch on its abdomen which the lesser violet ear lacks. The long-tailed sylph, what a beautiful bird. Patch of iridescent feathers on the crown. The tail is magnificent. I got pictures of a juvenile with a not so long tail, but brilliant feathers so you can really see the color. And also a few males with long tails. This is an unbelievably beautiful bird, and I was always on the lookout for them. We spent a day photographing at the Owlet Lodge, and then we took a, somewhere between a 10 and 15 minute drive away to another conservation area called Fundo Alto Nieva. Now, we went there to also photograph at their hummingbird feeders because the booted racket tail comes to their feeders a lot and it does not seem to come to the Owlet Lodge. Slightly different uh, weather conditions. The booted racket tail, what a beautiful bird. He's got 
a long tail that has little discs on the end. And he also has gorgeous little boots. This one here at Fondo Alto Nieva is the Peruvian booted racket tail. And you only see booted racket tails with orange boots on the east side of the Andes. When you get over to the west side of the Andes, they also have booted racket tails, but they have white boots. This time I stayed on the west side of the Andes, but in future episodes when I get over to the east side, then you'll see the white-booted racket tail. The fawn-breasted brilliant is a cloud forest bird found in Colombia, Ecuador, and Peru. They're buff-colored underneath and green on top. The males and females both have a small patch of light pink feathers on the throat, though the males is a little bit larger. Now, like the other brilliance, the feathers go a long way down the beak, and that's a trait you don't see in many other hummingbirds. My favorite picture of this species is a bird I managed to get while he was hanging upside down feeding on a fuchsia blossom. This guy decided he did not want to expend a lot of energy hovering under the flower like you usually see. He found a way to grab onto it and rest while feeding on the nectar. A real bonus that I didn't even realize until I came home and I looked at my photographs is that I photographed the greenish puff leg. And uh, I don't remember seeing the greenish puff leg, but when I looked at my photographs, there he was. Another puff leg with the little white puffs, but I was so happy to see this bird. One more bird that has been spotted here at Fundo Alto Nieva is the Royal Sun Angel. I did not see this bird on this trip, but I do come back to this area on a subsequent trip, and I did get pictures of the Royal Sun Angel, so you'll have to wait a few weeks to see him. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell because next Sunday we're going to the Wembo Reserve. The whole reason that I went to Peru on this trip was to get my first view of the marvelous spatula tail hummingbird. And that's where we're going next Sunday.